Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. Now, today's video is going to be a Q&A video. I haven't done one of this in a minute, in a little while. So I said to myself, hmm, let's do a Q&A video. So I put out a question tab on my Insta stories about two, three days ago. And you guys asked me your questions. I'll be answering them in this video, okay? Now, if you are interested in seeing what this video is about, then please keep on watching. <laughs> okay so we have quite a number of questions here and i'll do my best to answer every single question all right so the very first one is from um okay let me not call the names right i'll just you know answer the questions how did you create your brand you know putting yourself out there um uh, basically you must be new to me and to my channel and to my instagram and all of that but um i started my brand in 2014 i was a style cheap skate started with a blog and i didn't rebrand until sometime in 2019 i think yeah 2019 when i changed my name from the style cheap skate to alma ungu because it just made more sense to you know stick to my own name as my brand name that made a whole lot of sense and because obviously I was no longer the style cheap skate, I had so much more that I was doing besides just fashion content. So yeah, starting my brand basically was through fashion and from there I evolved to lifestyle content which I am currently doing right now and I feel like lifestyle encompasses fashion, beauty and just living your life basically. So yeah, that was how I started my brand. It was from my blog in 2014 and now we are doing YouTube, we're doing Instagram. The thing is putting myself out there has never really been hard for me to do i remember back then when we had just facebook i enjoy taking pictures and putting on my facebook page and all of that so putting myself out there was not really an issue for me i didn't have to think about it it was something that i felt like i was already doing via social media anyway next question if you could leave anywhere where would that be um to be honest right now i think it would be the united states of america just because i have family there and it would be easier for me to settle in in my opinion yeah right now as of the time i'm shooting this video it will have to definitely be america definitely um next question hi alma i admire you a lot and your work ethics thank you so much not a question by compliment thank you so much the next one how are you mentally and financially hmm this is a very good question how am I mentally I am good mentally of course there are times when you just wake up low spirited let me know if that happens to you in the comment section below but there are days when you just wake up and your spirit is just low no reason i have days like that i mean come on we all do but aside that to be honest mentally i think i'm okay i'm fine mentally and financially hmm financially i am okay i keep saying this all the time i'm not where i was last year and for me that's a great improvement i mean <laughs> come on i'm not where i was last year so um financially i'm fine it could be better but i'm fine i'm content i'm okay where i am financially and that makes me so happy to be honest all right the next question what would you advise an aspiring youtuber in 2021 don't start youtube because you want to make money off of youtube yeah everybody's starting youtube now because there's a chance to get monetized and make money off of youtube but i feel like that's not like the particular reason you should be getting an interest in starting youtube because if you don't like sharing your life if you don't like you know doing all of that <laughs> at some point you'll get sick and tired of it so i feel like you should start youtube you because you love sharing and um, the money is just secondary also to be honest gone are the days when they will tell you start with what you have I mean back then when many of us could not really afford to buy cameras and all of that it was easy to start with what we had but right now we are in 2021 honey you cannot start with what you have okay except you have a good phone that has good quality uh -huh. then you can use that but to be honest YouTube has become so visual that even me personally if your channel your channel's quality if the video quality is not good i lose interest that's just me then imagine people who are like me we are plenty so try and start with something that is of good quality be it a phone be it a camera and you'll be good also try and have ideas you know try and get ideas that have not been overflogged and overdone try and you know start your channel based on something that is lacking in the youtube space and just be yourself that's basically it just be yourself okay the next question can you please direct or tutor an upcoming youtuber with any vid 
with any video tutoring youtubers maybe like you're asking me to like upload a video with like maybe upcoming youtuber advice and all of that anyway i just gave some advice in the last question and uh, maybe i would actually sit down and film a video for upcoming youtubers maybe i would do that that's a very good idea so i will do that the next one how did you meet your hobby okay you must be new to my channel um if not you would know that jesse and i met on nyse camp in october of 2010 so yeah we were in the same nyse camp here in abuja and that was how we met i have an entire video on how we met how we dated how he proposed i will leave that video linked up here just in case you missed it um so yeah go watch it okay the next one found you on youtube love your content love your channel do i hear a british accent when you speak <laughs> to be honest that you hear everything american accent european accent british accent all the accents okay i think it's just a thing for me i don't know i've I've definitely been to Britain like twice in my life. I've been to the US once in my life, but I don't think those are the reasons why I probably have an accent or maybe I speak well in quotes because many of you have said that, oh Alma, you speak well. I just think it's upbringing and you know, I my both my parents are English fanatics, so maybe it's where you hear it from, but yeah, anyways, I don't know, is that a compliment? I don't know, but okay, thanks. <laughs> um, the next question, how do you deal with procrastination? I love you, Alma, I love you too, darling. Procrastination is something I deal with on a daily basis. I mean, there are days I wake up, even on Mondays that are supposed to be like my actual like big work days there are days i wake up on monday and i don't do anything like i wake up and i'll be like ah oh, i have sponsored content to film like three or four for the week oh i'll do it tomorrow oh i'll do it on wednesday there are days that i go through that we all go through that i think at the end of the day what motivates me is <laughs> the money okay i get up from bed and do what i have to do but yes i do go through procrastination and it's a very bad thing honestly there are days i've missed a couple of deadlines because i was procrastinating not a good thing i remind myself about why i'm doing what i'm doing i remind myself that as i'm lying down on that bed people have gone out to hustle people have gone to their nine to five jobs and i'm on my bed and i get up and i get to work so that's how i deal with it the next question please can you do a makeup tutorial video ah uh, i've gotten this question a couple of times even in my dms and in my comments and it's amazing to think you guys think that i know how to do my makeup okay well thank you so much but i feel like actual makeup tutorial videos don't do well on youtube anymore i think we have gone past that beauty phase in youtube everybody knows how to do their makeup now to be honest via youtube so tutorials now come in different forms like get ready with me videos or even on ig on instagram like one minute videos or reels so i do a couple of that on instagram but i haven't done a get ready with me in a little bit so actually i should do that that's how i like to do my tutorials now these days through get ready with me's and yeah i would do that because get ready with me you're doing your makeup but at the same time you're talking about something a topic or just a q a or something but i feel like sitting down and just doing okay i'm doing my brow right now oh my lipstick is this color i'm doing it this way it doesn't tend to do well on youtube and to be honest we have gone past doing videos that don't do too well on youtube okay but yes get ready with me i will do i'll try to do more of that you know in the coming weeks how is being married really like and how do you resolve arguments with your hobby um <laughs> being married is what it is it's being married okay the reality of this is that you are stuck with one person for the rest of your life yes that is the reality you are stuck with one person for the rest of your days and you can't do anything about it all right you are Stuck with their habits their likes their dislikes their annoying behaviors their good behaviors you're stuck with everything i feel like marriage is more like a glorified way of living with your boyfriend or living with your girlfriend that's how i see it it's a glorified way of it i feel like it's living with your boyfriend living with your girlfriend without feeling guilty <laughs> that's that's literally how i look at it but yeah being married is amazing especially when you are married to a good person okay when you're married to the right person when you're married to your friend it can be really enjoyable to be honest and that's to be honest that's what i have in my marriage i'm married to my friend like before anything jesse is my friend before being a lover before being a husband before being anything else he is a friend and that for me you know makes my marriage blissful and enjoyable yes we do argue once in a while but jesse and i resolve arguments in the funniest way like if one of us is just sick of the silence we just tend to love up that's just it if i'm the one who's tired of giving him cold cold shoulder i would go, go and meet him and then we will hug and then call it a day and that's how we resolve the arguments if he's the one that is feeling like that he does that that is clearly how we do it but 
to be honest we don't really like sit and talk about all oh, this thing we argued about and hey let's talk about it let us mm -mm. like you guys life is too short to be dissecting things like that in my opinion so yeah that's why i said marry your friend okay when you marry your friend resolving arguments will not be an issue for you <laughs> not a question but i started watching you a few months ago and i can't get enough love you girl i love you and thank you so much for watching me and subscribing to my channel hey beautiful i always wonder why does alma not drive do you have phobia of driving or it's not just your thing ha ah, this question ha ah, this question guys even me eh i'm tired like it has become so embarrassing that at 32 years old i don't drive and it's not as if i have had a phobia for driving or i don't like driving i actually had a ginger to drive when i was 18. i don't forget and my dad do not remember this story but i went to a driving school because i was so ginger that i was so eager to learn i went to a driving school i got their prospectus i got everything about it the cost of the driving school for a month and everything and i gave to my dad because obviously i cannot afford it at the time i was just 18 and my dad told me okay don't worry when you're 20 don't worry when you're 20 we'll, we'll talk about it again and in my head i'm like okay and to be honest that was the beginning and end of my zeal to know how to drive it just died from there to be honest next time i wanted to learn how to drive was just right before i got pregnant for mia rose and because i had been trying for a little bit when i got pregnant driving was no longer in the car because my was just like you know what leave that driving first eh focus on this child when you are giving birth you can now go and learn how to drive but to be honest i'm tired i'm sick of it i'm tired of boating and ubering around i'm tired okay Okay, so I have told God that this year will not pass me by okay I'm going to definitely start driving right before the year runs out waiting for one or two things to click because I don't want to start driving and not have a car to drive we have a car in the house but it's like my August car he drives it when he needs to go to work it's his car you know this is not the case of our car because even if I need to go out and he's in the office with the car what do I do so I don't want to learn how to drive and not have my own car right so yeah the plan is drive start driving within a month buy a car and then you can start moving around so yes i don't have a phobia for driving i'm ready like i'm so ready to start driving like it's ridiculous when will i meet you in abuja i have just been wishing consider your girl now i will meet you soon darling honestly i should be meeting some of you you know more randomly and yes i will look into this don't worry we'll meet we'll see most definitely um how do i start working with brands as influencer slash branding i'm a small youtuber how do you start working with brands to be honest if brands don't know what you can do for them they will not reach out to you that's just the honest truth if they cannot see what you can do for them they will not reach out to you and how do you do that you do that by you know if it means you know spending money you know or reviewing brands even if you're not paid to do it i mean you can buy something and review on your youtube channel or buy something and do a reel out of it on instagram and tag these brands i feel like that's how these brands will get to even know you exist in the first place brands only reach out to you when they've seen what you've done for other brands that's the honest truth that's like 101 okay that is like 101 of working with brands that's the first thing that you should do not a question alma you are beautiful thank you thank you love you love you don't even know what to ask you other than to say i respect your person and keep being you always thank you so much that means a lot thank you how do you feel about your slow growth on youtube in terms of subscribers after all these years um sometimes it can be a bit annoying to be honest because considering that i've been on youtube since 2016 even though i wasn't like consistent consistent like that until like 2018 but i feel like there are a lot of people who have started youtube way after me and have blown but everybody has their journey guys i've learned that everybody has their journey everybody has their race everybody's time is different and the blow will come when it will come okay so yeah i don't let it bother me anymore and by the way this year has been amazing i mean i'm at 17,000 subscribers now now, i'm so so happy i'm approaching 18k gradually and that's amazing considering that my goal for the year is 20k so i can't complain okay yeah i can't complain no question just want to say thank you okay you're welcome okay i remember you i answered one dm that she sent to me and um yeah you're welcome <laughs> you look beautiful please how much do you charge for ads thank you so much um i have a rate card where i outline every service i offer on social media with their rates so maybe i will send you a rate card via dm but i need to know why you're asking are you asking as a brand owner or are you asking as a fellow content creator because you want to know how much i charge brands 
I need to know so DM me and then let's talk I'm a new subscriber I just like your energy the way you express yourself so freely and yeah I like you I like you too thank you so much wow so much love guys so much love how do you deal with low view times I'm just growing my IG page um, to be honest we've all had those moments it's just part of growth to be honest like I've had times when my my videos are getting like 200 views 100 views I mean back then it just happens with growth and I feel like it's all part of your journey okay dealing with those things then I just knew that it was part of my journey and I had to just keep doing what I was doing quitting was not an option for me because when you quit and I decide to now come back later mm, you get so just keep at it and don't allow low views low number of views low number of subscribers to get to you because everybody has their race guys so just do the work put in the work now okay and then watch yourself skyrocket <laughs> my sister and i don't see eye to eye like we don't mind not talking to each other for months years even what do i do hmm that is really i can't relate because i have a very close-knit family i'm close to my sisters so i can't really relate but i feel like you should be the bigger person here if it bothers you so much i mean she's your blood she's your sister and i feel like being the bigger person will not kill you so reach out to her once in a while if you guys are in the same location you know try and you know initiate hangouts once in a while and you guys might start bonding from there okay so yeah that's what i can say because i can't really relate to be honest but i feel like you being the bigger person would help a lot a whole lot please help me promote my business yes I will help you promote your business send me a DM I give you my rates and you pay accordingly and then we can take it up from there okay <laughs> can you do a meet and greet for youtubers in Abuja to connect huh I have thought about this I have thought about doing this it was actually one of my goals for the year to organize a meet and greet for my subscribers and of course other youtubers that want to also meet and connect um, I should do that I am thinking of doing that soon I've just been pretty busy with other stuff guys but it's in the works okay it's in my cards and i will get to it i promise two questions here similar you guys know these questions always come up when are you planning on having another child dear another one any plans of having more babies anytime soon you must be new to my channel because new to my channel new to my ig space because i've actually asked that you guys don't ask questions like this i'm ready when i'm ready the baby will come when i'm ready to have the baby End of story, okay? <laughs> I wasn't your sister in the wedding. What sister? Are you talking about Wendy? Because Wendy was very present at the wedding. A lot of you seem to think that I exclude my last sister for reasons I can't really understand. I have a special needs sister and I'm actually thinking of doing a video with her very, very soon. But guys, she was at that wedding, okay? Like, how can she miss her own brother's wedding? Are you serious? She was at that wedding. She was very, very present. Maybe I may not have captured her in the vlog because I was just so busy trying to ensure that everybody was doing good, doing okay. And yeah, maybe that's why she didn't appear in the videos. But she was very present please okay was your uncle who passed away married did he have children he was not married but he had children okay um you are beautiful thank you so so much at what age did you finish your university job and marriage okay i finished university at the age of 20 one 21 because i did nyse at 21 finished nyse at 22 so yeah i finished uni at 21 um, i got my first job at 22 going on 23 and i got married at 26 going on 27 i see you changed your phone how much did you get it ha, this phone is causing quite a stare guys it's just a phone <laughs> it is just a phone but i got the iphone 12 pro max and that's like quite expensive that's actually like the most expensive iphone right now on the market until the iphone 13 comes out um i traded my old phone i was using an xx max before i actually traded that phone in and added money on top of it to get a brand new iphone 12 pro max but the original cost of this phone right now is about 550 540 around that price it's really expensive guys <laughs> It's really expensive. That's expensive. Okay, we have asked and we are tired. When is the house tour video coming? Uh -huh. Very, very soon, guys. Trust me. That video is coming soon. Just keep your eyes peeled. So yes, that video is coming very soon. Trust me. Sooner than you think. Sooner than you think. Loving your pink hair. Thank you. How much do hair extensions from Lush cost? Okay, um, they are pretty affordable to be honest. This hair, the extensions cost like 
1,400 for a pack, I think. Yeah, about 1,000 for 1,005, depending on where you buy it. How many brands have you worked with this year? I have lost count. Even me, I've lost count. To be honest, this year has really been good, guys. In terms of working with brands, this year has really been good. And to be honest, I, have, I stopped counting how many brands I have worked with. Maybe by the time the year is over, I will do like a census. <laughs> of how many brands i worked with this year but i have worked with a lot of brands this year and i am so grateful for that can you do a master class especially for how you shoot and edit your ig content ha huh, master class guys i don't have time to do a master class and that's just me being completely honest with you i don't have time to do a master class i'm just like ah I, it's a lot of work with everything i have going on doing a master class or starting a master class series would just literally drain me so that's why i haven't done it but let's see what next year holds guys i may just do one next year let's just see okay i really enjoy your hauls any new ones coming soon yes i have a collective haul coming soon i shopped from two websites and i have that video coming soon i haven't received the items yet but once i do you guys will definitely see a haul okay um i am jamaican and i love watching you on youtube when will you visit your brother and your new sister in america soon very soon that's all i can say okay i haven't been to america since i was eight years old the last time i went to america the first and last time i was only eight years old and it's long overdue like my brother is like alma in fact i've not even left the country in about seven years yes my last trip out of nigeria was was seven years ago to the uk and i haven't traveled out since then and it's it's embarrassing it's embarrassing for me so yes america yeah coming soon and then last but not least congratulations again on your viral video thank you it can only be greater for you from now onwards amen to that and guys i literally got obviously the wedding video has over 100k views right now but i had another video that also hit 100k like within the same time frame in the last one week a video that had about 25k views from when i posted it just woke up because i had a lot of jamaicans and americans watching my channel many of those videos started doing very well and i have a video that has even surpassed the wedding video right now it is sick like it is sick i'm going to do a video very soon on those viral videos how much youtube paid me and all of that i will do that very very soon and i have another video also in my sis in law my brother were around that is about hitting 100k too like it's ridiculous almost three videos now that are you know 100k and above is just crazy it's just mind-blowing okay guys whew, those were all the questions i'm happy i could answer every single question hope you guys enjoyed watching this video do you enjoy watching q and a's like this let me know in the comment section below don't forget to subscribe if you are not yet subscribed our next target is 18k okay so please keep subscribing and um thumbs up the video if you enjoyed watching i'll see you guys in my next one bye